We're here today to talk about how to check the fuses in your multimeter without having to open the case. Most multimeters that meet national standards will have fuses on the current input jacks to protect you. These fuses are located inside the meter and they're high energy fuses so they can take quite a lot of load without any sort of damage or injury happening to you. To check these fuses you would typically need to open up the case, take out the fuse, then use your continuity or ohm meter to measure across them to see if they're good or not. And there's, mu there's a much easier way to do this without having to open the case. On all multimeters that have a common jack with their amps input jacks, this common is shared by all the input, in input jacks. So if I simply take my multimeter, change it to the ohm function, and then jump from the volt ohm jack into the amp jack, I will be measuring across the fuse and seeing its continuity. In this case, we have an open indication which says the fuse is bad in this multimeter. If we go over to the Fluke 87, what we have here is, again, I will only use one of the test leads. I will go to the ohm input indicator, and I will take my test lead and test each of these two current input jacks. In the milliamp jack, what we have is we have a slow blow fuse, so there you'll typically see about 1,000 ohms on the reading. If we go into the amps input jack, we'll get a much lower uh, resistance reading because it's simply an inline fuse. One thing nice about the Fluke 87 is they have this lead alert function. So if you're trying to take a measurement with the leads in the wrong jack, it will actually give you an indication. This is also an indication that your fuses are okay. So this is a way that you can test the fuses within your multimeter without having to open the case.